Hi everyone, it's Nicole again. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Saturday Sip and Chat. I am drinking a and W Singles to Go. Mm. Okay. So, sorry I look like a hot mess today. I uh, am cooking chili. Um, it just was a very busy day, so I'm getting a chance to do this now. I switched my case into this glitter case, rose gold glitter case. I put a screen protector on that I had, um, around the house, and, uh, I switched out of my Daisy Rose tote. I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed carrying it. I loved it. I wish it was in gold tote hardware, but that's okay. Um, I switched out of that. And it's my Dooney and Burke Cooper bag and plum wine and soft and leather. Um, it's downstairs. <laughs> I forgot it downstairs. Because um, we had to rush home to start cooking the chili because it was going to take a while. Oh, do you like my new ring that I got? On QVC for $35. It's a Diamondique ring. It's the same one, the round one, but it's the same one as the heart one, sorry. It's the same exact ring, um, but round. You know, the heart ring that I have. Anyway. Um, so we had to run some errands today and we went to the Christmas tree shop, which is one of my favorite stores. And it's about like 15, 20 minutes away from here. So we don't go there a lot. So I got two things from the Christmas tree shop. Um, another thing that I love besides hand dyes is coffee mugs. <laughs> I love coffee mugs. I love coffee mugs. Um, so after, uh, I'm going to show you these two coffee mugs, and then I'm going to share a little story that I did this week. So, we'll get, we'll get this out of the way. Fun stuff. So, I got this little coffee mug. It's, um, it was $1.99. Originally $1.99, of course, made in China. I got it for $0.98. Cents. It's um, plastic. QVC, too. I get that every hour. I got to turn that off. So my iPads and um, phone go off all the time with that. And then that, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take this to work. And I might think it's microwavable. So I can just, if it gets cold, I can microwave it. And then we have cured at work. So I can also use this for my cure. Just take it back to it from work because I had a Starbucks one like this at work. You ever have pet peeves and, you know, I have this pet peeve where nobody can drink out of my, my mug. Even if they wash it, sanitize it, whatever. I don't, I, I just, it, 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 it skeeves me out. So, I put my name on everything. So, I put Miss Nicole on the, on the top and the, the, this part. And she drank water out of it, but she washed it. I come into the classroom after my break. And she's, you know, I said, oh, what's this doing out? My coffee mug. And she goes, oh, it, it was up in the cabinet for a while. I didn't know whose it was. I said, well, my name is on it. She goes, oh, I didn't know. I didn't notice it until you turned, you know, you picked it up. I said, okay. It was for free. One of the parents, you know, gave it to me. But I was like, okay. So I didn't throw out that mug. I was so upset. I mean, she was very nice and apologetic, and I'm like, listen, it's okay. I just have that, it just gives me out that if you drink out of my mug or water bottle, it kind of 
Mm. Well, people I don't know, you know. Anyway, moving on. So, I saw this, was it last year? Yeah, exactly last year, because we had to go to Pier 1 to pick up chairs for the kitchen. And I saw this mug, and I'm like, this is so cute. I got it a year later, because it's still there. I got it for three ninety nine. dollars I think this is hysterical. I love things with words on it, like with meanings. It says, I don't need Google. My boyfriend knows everything, which is so right because he thinks he knows everything. So this is perfect. They have one. They have one in life. I don't need Google. My, my girlfriend knows everything. My wife, my husband, my mother, my father. Yeah, they had all a whole bunch of them like that. So that's what I got. That was $3.99. Christmas shop so yeah that's what I got today so I've had a very tough week at work so specifically one day this week I had a very rough day I just was stressed out I was tired I didn't sleep the well you know that well the night before so I I was watching my DVR, I'm like, you know, I don't feel like playing Candy Crush or anything right now. So, I went on to eBay. And I started looking at handbags. I started looking at Michael Kors handbags. So, I bought two um, bags and a wallet. So, I got these three things. This bag this bag and this wallet and I canceled them and they refunded my money because I regretted it the next day um, and then I was on yesterday um, oh, okay so I was I, I bid on a bag for 50 bucks and I was like you know I'm not gonna spend more than 50 bucks and if I'm outbid, I, you know, I'm good. So I was outbid by a dollar. So I lost this handbag. That's okay. It's cute, nothing special. But, yeah, I have a handbag addiction. And I'm trying to curb it. So. That was my week. That was my week. You know, one day I bought all this stuff, and the next day I canceled it. That's what happens when you have a, a handbag addiction like I do. I also have a coffee mug addiction, but it's not as bad. It was very cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, let me get another sip. Anybody have an advice? Any advice for me about my handbag addiction? <laughs> because it's getting bad. Like, the more stress at work I have, the more I want to buy and spend money on handbags. I mean, little coffee mugs at Christmas Tree Shop, okay, but handbags... Not so much because they're expensive. And I was even stressing out, like, where am I going to put all these bags I just bought? I was stressing out that night. Stressing out. Couldn't sleep that night either because I'm like, where am I going to put these bags? How am I going to explain it to people? How? How, how am I going to explain it to my boyfriend? He's going to kill me. And then the next morning, I'm like, let me cancel. Let me see if I can cancel it. I canceled it, and I feel better about that. Um, I get in these moods sometimes, whether I, I want to purge, and I want to get rid of stuff, rid of my handbags, some of them. And then there's times I want to add. It's a daily struggle, this addiction. I have three addictions, I say. I love 
Disney, I'm addicted to Disney, I'm addicted to handbags, and I'm addicted to anything Reese's. Reese's cups, Reese's pieces, Reese's sticks, white chocolate Reese's. Oh, so I just have to have that on a Sunday. That's like my treat, you know, during Sunday football. But I'm addicted to those things. Oh, and coffee mugs. Not as much, though. But, um, anybody else have shopping addictions? And what do you guys do about it? Because I know it. I, it's a daily struggle. Um, yeah. And then, um, I need a winter coat. So we were going to go shopping today, but we didn't have any time. So we're going to do it next weekend or until another time. I was looking on Macy's and I'm like, oh, Michael Kors jacket, a Ralph Lauren jacket, a Tommy Hilfiger jacket, $130 something. Dollars. And he's like, and I said, well, what do you think of this? What do you think? It's a, it's a nice jacket. $139. No way. I was willing to spend $139 for a jacket. Because of my addiction. That's insane. And, and that's insane. So, I don't know what you guys do about it. But if you guys can give me some advice. Because I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. It, it, it gets worse when I'm stressed. So, if I have a good week at work. Or a good day at work. I'm fine. If I have a bad day. Or a fight with him. That's. That was what makes me want to shop more. So I need to find new ways to kind of decompress and relax and just like not get upset over the stupidest little sh stuff at work. I was just going <laughs> to sorry. The stupid stuff at work. It, it's just, I am sure everybody's job is hard. You know, but all I can say is not everybody's cut out for my kind of field, my work. You know, just like I'm not cut out to be a nurse or, you know, or in law enforcement in the military. I can't do that. But I commend people that do. I, I can't do that kind of stuff. I enjoy teaching babies and taking care of babies and toddlers. And, you know, that's my field. And it's tough. It's a very tough underpaid job. But it's rewarding. And I'm not talking about stress from the babies or the kids. Because that's what keeps me sane. Those babies keep me sane at work. It's the adults. The parents. The, the, the my co-workers. It's like, it, it's stress. So much stress and so much responsibility. You know. But, you know, you get that in any job. I just have to learn how to not let it get to me. So, if you guys have any advice for me about that, I appreciate that. So, I'm going to get another sip of my drink. Sorry, this is a little down sip and chat, but... Uh, so, I don't know what we're going to talk about next week. Maybe anything maybe what you're thankful for because it'll be after Halloween um I don't know if you have any ideas of what you guys want me to talk about on Saturday's sip and chat because I'm gonna run out of ideas I appreciate that I want to I just want to thank everybody for watching liking commenting on my videos I really do appreciate it I do enjoy doing this i know i'm not the best youtuber out there you know but i do it because i enjoy it i enjoy doing it i enjoy showing you what i have and and, and you know i want you guys to get to know me you know on my channel so i thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video <laughs> thanks for watching bye